Question 76.10. Questioner, would I be correct in saying that the archetypes of this particular logos are somewhat unique with respect to the rest of the creation? The systems of study that we have just talked about would not translate quickly or easily in other parts of the creation. This is a very difficult question to state. Could you clear that up for me? Answer, I am Ra. We may draw from the Velter of statement which you offer the question we believe you ask. Please re-question if we have mistaken your query. The archetypical mind is that mind which is peculiar to the logos under which influence you are at this space-time distorting your experiences. There is no other logos the archetypical mind of which would be the same any more than the stars would appear the same from another planet in another galaxy. You may correctly infer that the closer logos are indeed closer in archetypes. Question 76.11 Questioner, since Ra evolved initially on Venus Ra is of the same archetypical origin as that which we experience here. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 76.12 Questioner, but I am assuming that the concepts of the Terot and the magical concepts of the Tree of Life, etc. were not in use by Ra. I suspect, possibly, some form of astrology was a previous Ra concept. This is just a guess. Am I correct? Answer, I am Ra. To express Ra's methods of study of the archetypical mind under the system of distortions which we enjoyed would be to skew your own judgment of that which is appropriate for the system of distortions forming the conditions in which you learn teach. Therefore, we must invoke the law of confusion. Question 76.13 Questioner, I am going to ask some questions now that may be a little off the center of what we are trying to do. I'm not sure because I'm trying to, with these questions, unscramble something that I consider very basic to what we are doing. Please forgive my lack of ability in questioning since this is a difficult concept for me. Could you give me an idea of the length of the first and second densities as they occurred for this planet? Answer, I am Ra. There is no method of estimation of the time-space before timelessness gave way in your first density. To the beginnings of your time, the measurement would be vast and yet this vastness is meaningless. Upon the entry into the constructed space-time your first density spanned a bridge of space-time and time-space of perhaps two billion of your years. Second density is more easily estimated and represents your longest density in terms of the span of space-time. We may estimate that time is approximately four, six billion years. These approximations are exceedingly rough due to the somewhat uneven development which is characteristic of creations which are built upon the foundation stone of free will. Question 76.14 Questioner, did you state that second density was 4.6 billion years? B, B I L. Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 76.15 Questioner, then we have a third density that is, comparatively speaking, the twinkling of an eye, the snap of a finger in time compared to the others. Why is the third density cycled so extremely rapidly compared to the first and second? Answer, I am Ra. The third density is a choice. Question 76.16. Questioner, third density, then, compared to the rest of the densities, all of them, is nothing but a uniquely short period of what we consider to be time and is for the purpose of this choice. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is precisely correct. The prelude to choice must encompass the laying of the foundation, the establishment of the illusion and the viability of that which can be the made spiritually viable. The remainder of the densities is continuous refining of the choice. This also is greatly lengthened, as you would use the term. The choice is, as you put it, the work of a moment but is the axis upon which the creation turns. Question 76.17 Questioner, is this third density choice the same throughout all of the creation of which you are aware? Answer, I am Ra. We are aware of creations in which third density is lengthier and more space time is given to the choosing. However, the proportions remain the same, the dimensions all being somewhat etilated and weakened by the logos to have a variant experience of the creator. This creation is seen by us to be quite vivid. Question 76.18 Questioner, I didn't understand what you meant by what you said, 
a scene by you to be quite vivid. What did you mean? Answer, I am Ra. This creation is somewhat more condensed by its logos than some other logo I have chosen. Thus each experience of the creator by the creator in this system of distortions is, relatively speaking, more bright or, as we said, vivid. Question 76.19 Questioner, I am assuming that upon entry into third density, for this planet, disease did not exist in any form. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. Question 76.20 Questioner, what disease or form of disease was there and why did this exist at the beginning of the third density? Answer, I am Ra. Firstly, that which you speak of as disease is a functional portion of the body complex which offers the body complex the opportunity to cease viability. This is a desirable body complex function. The second portion of the answer has to do with second density other selves of a microscopic, as you would call it, size which have in some forms long existed and performed their service by aiding the physical body complex in its function of ceasing viability at the appropriate space-time. Question 76.21 Questioner, what I am trying to understand is the difference between the plan of the logos for these second density entities and the generation of what I would guess to be more or less a runaway array of feedback to create various physical problems to act as catalyst in our present third density condition. Could you give me an indication of whether my thinking is anywhere near right on that? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument's physical body complex is becoming more distorted towards pain. We shall, therefore, speak to this subject as our last full query of this working. Your query contains some internal confusion which causes the answer to be perhaps more general than desired. We invite refinements of the query. The Logos plan for entities of mind, body, spirit complex to gain experience until the amount of experience was sufficient for an incarnation. This varied only slightly from second density entities whose mind body complexes existed for the purpose of experiencing growth and seeking consciousness. As the third density upon your planet proceeded, as has been discussed, the need for the physical body complex to cease became more rapidly approached due to intensified and more rapidly gained catalyst. This catalyst was not being properly assimilated. Therefore, the, shall we say, lifetimes needed to be shorter that learning might continue to occur with the proper rhythm and increment. Thus more and more opportunities have been offered as your density has progressed for disease. May we ask if there are further brief queries before we close? Question 76.22 Questioner, I have one question that is possibly of no value. You don't have to expand on it, but there is a crystal skull in the possession of a woman near Toronto. It may be of some value in investigating these communications with Ra since I think possibly this had some origin from Ra. Can you tell me anything about that, and then is there anything that we can do to improve the contact or to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. Although your query is one which uncovers interesting material we cannot answer due to the potential an answer may have for affecting your actions. The appurtenances are carefully placed and requisite care taken. We are appreciative. All is well. I am Ra. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, glorying and rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.